Ladies and gentlemen, welcome into yet another video, guys. Looking at a freezing cold take compilation off of Twitter. I screenshotted some of the best freezing cold takes. If you guys don't know the Twitter account, freezing cold takes, I got to give them a shout out. Great Twitter genius idea you find these takes and it's almost it's almost impressive with how badly some of these takes have aged it's like they're so wrong it's almost like it's impossible for something to be this wrong but i thought some of these were really funny i'm gonna go through about 10 to 15 of them and just talk about them react to them uh this first one you know this first one is pretty funny because this was a common opinion people had before the start of the 2020 season Quarterbacks I hate in 2020, Aaron Rodgers. Obviously, Aaron Rodgers goes on to win the MVP in 2020. But guys, the deal with Aaron Rodgers, he kind of had a down year in 2019 by his standards. Um, and people thought he was really declining. The Packers draft Jordan Love late in the first round. People were down on him. He goes out in 2020 and wins the freaking MVP. It's pretty amazing. But yeah, that was just a little fantasy thing I thought was funny. Quarterbacks I hate. Aaron Rodgers, the dude, ends up winning the MVP. Also, I think I'd rather take Kelvin Benjamin over OBJ. Hashtag Jets. Yeah, Kelvin Benjamin had one decent year, his rookie year with Cam Newton. The dude just got too fat. I mean, you look at Kelvin Benjamin after his rookie year, even his rookie year, he's a big boy. And, I mean, he should have probably transitioned to tight end. I saw him trying to make a comeback in Buffalo. It's not working out for him. But, yeah, taking Kelvin Benjamin over OBJ, not a good idea there. Uh, Mark Schlereth on the fan now says the Broncos are not taking a QB in the draft because they are close to trading for Aaron Rodgers per his sources. I didn't know Mark Schlereth had sources. Quote, as close to a done deal as it can be. Guys, I'm telling you this right now. Could you imagine Aaron Rodgers? I'm dreaming of this scenario. I don't know why I like the Broncos. I'm really a Browns fan. But I like this Broncos team. You think KJ Hamler, Jerry Judy, Cortland Sutton, Noah Fant with Aaron Rodgers? Here's the deal with Aaron Rodgers. I know this is going to anger a lot of Packers fans, but this is what happened. The Packers went to Aaron Rodgers. They said, listen, you're under contract. Give us a year. We'll trade you next offseason. Jordan Love needs another year to prepare. You're still under contract. And Aaron Rodgers said, okay, I'll give you one more year. The bottom line, this is Aaron Rodgers' last year in Green Bay. They're going to be trading him. And we obviously know they're grooming Jordan Love. They said he needs one more year. And then he's going to take over for Aaron Rodgers. And Aaron Rodgers is going to go somewhere else, you know, last three or four years of his career. Kind of like Peyton Manning did. I would love for Aaron Rodgers to go to the Broncos. Oh, my goodness. Those young weapons. Broncos have so many young weapons. This, obviously, take was not correct. But, man, Aaron Rodgers. Could you imagine Aaron Rodgers on the Broncos? One more year with the Packers. The Packers said, you're under contract. We're not doing this. Well, we'll give us one year to trade you. Give Jordan Love one more year of maturity. Aaron Rodgers will be on a new team next year, guaranteed. Chad Ochocinco says, Browns fans are worried about free agency and who's leaving and going, not realizing the most valuable piece is Hugh. Trust me, he got you. Uh, Hugh Jackson finished his Cleveland Browns uh, career with a record of 3-33. and 33. So very nice take there by uh, Mr. Ocho Cinco. Guys, this one, the GOAT, skip. Johnny Football one day will be bigger in Cleveland than his buddy LeBron ever was. I'm sure we've all heard this one before. When it comes to Skip Bayless, guys, I mean, we've got girls selling feet pics making 30 k a month. Why can't Skip say the most ridiculous things and make money off of it? Like, that's what he does. Someone like Skip Bayless, he knows his role. He's not a former player. No one really cares about his insight. So you have to say ridiculous things, and you look at Skip Bayless's contract with Fox. He's on a multi-million dollar contract. I got to res respect Skip. If you want to get clicks, you want to get this stuff, you have to say this stuff. You hear what Skip says all the time? He says it because it gets clicks. He needs to say it. He's not a former player. You know, he needs to say this type of stuff. So I respect what Skip is doing. It's hilarious. Here's another one. This is a, This is just a random... Oh my goodness. Look at the dates of these. Literally, the it, it's seven days difference. So in the span of a week, Skip has two, two takes. The Jets just got an absolute steal of the draft. Their future starting QB, Bryce Petty. You know, Bryce Petty was good on Baylor. 
but um, I did. I think Bryce Petty might have started one game with the Jets. I do remember at the end of like the 2017 or 2018 season when the Jets were like three and 12, him starting the last game of the season or something. <laughs> All right, now this one from For the Win. Uh, they were grading the Patrick Mahomes pick. Grade C minus analysis. Calling Mahomes a project is a major understatement. He's nowhere near ready to play in the NFL, and honestly, he may never be. Between his inconsistent accuracy due to poor mechanics, his tendency to bail from clean pockets, and his lack of field vision, he's going to leave as many big plays on the field as he creates. This was a risky pick. This was a shared take by many people. Cut. Patrick Mahomes coming from that air raid offense at Texas Tech. You're taking Patrick Mahomes over to Sean Watson. Are you kidding me? That's what people were saying. And obviously, we know how it turned out for Andy Reid. Hugh Jackson on Cody Kessler. You have to trust me on this one. You have to trust me on this one, Hugh Jackson. <laughs> you got to love Hugh. You got to love him. I was a Browns fan. You got to love him. 3-33. Thank you, Andy Reid. Now Giants won't make mistake of taking Mahomes. Yes, because, uh, you know, their quarterback right now, Daniel Jones, is so much better than Patrick Mahomes. Imagine Patrick Mahomes in New York on the Giants, dude. Dak Prescott is a backup in the NFL at tight end. So, so not only is now the highest paid quarterback in the NFL, not only did Colin Coward think he was going to be a backup, but he throws on at tight end. End of it. I think Prescott was at Mississippi State and he probably had a bad game because this was November 2014. I don't think, yeah, Prescott wasn't in the NFL at this point, I don't think. Aaron Donald Scout, they give him a grade of a 5.35 NFL backup or special teams potential. Rounds four or five. Bottom line, short, scrampy, instinctive, highly productive defensive lineman who does not look the part but inspires confidence that he can be an exception to the rule. Is the type you root for and has the quickness, athleticism, and motor to earn a spot as a rotational three technique in a fast-flowing 3-4 scheme? Hopefully Aaron Donald, this young kid named Aaron Donald, can break through and earn a rotational spot. It would just, oh, he's, he's the guy you root for. He's an NFL backup or special. Aaron Donald, he can make it as a special teamer in the NFL, guys. It says it right here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, this was five NFL trade deadline deals that should happen, but won't. So the context to this is this was Mahomes' rookie year at the trade deadline. So Mahomes had not started a single game. They were red shorting him. If you guys remember, Mahomes ended up starting the last game of his rookie year. That was the only game he started due to Kansas City resting their starters because they were in the playoffs. Alex Smith was starting at this point. So this is the mock trade. Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes for Browns cornerback Jason McCourty and Deshaun Kaiser. Alex Smith is looking like he has a few seasons of top play left in Kansas City. Mahomes is looking like a longer than expected wait to be starter. Meanwhile, the Chiefs are in win Super Bowl now mode, and they don't have all the defensive parts, especially with safety Eric Berry lost for the season to get the job done. Oh my, <laughs> like they throw in Deshaun Kaiser like he's going to be the future quarterback of the Chiefs. Like what, what is that? <laughs> Trevor Lawrence on the Jets. Yes. So this is something I quickly wanted to talk about. Um, as a Browns fan, the Browns had back-to-back -back seasons in 2017 and 2018 where we went I believe we went 1-15 and, and then 0-16. And, and folks, I will be the first person to admit, I actively rooted for the Cleveland Browns to lose games. Actively. Oh, 100%. I'll admit it. What's the point of winning two extra games, going 3-13, and 13, and not getting the number one overall pick, and missing out on someone like Miles Garrett? If you're the Jets, what's the point of going 3-13 and 13 last year and potentially missing out on a franchise quarterback like Trevor Lawrence, who every scout has above the guy they ended up drafting, Zach Wilson? Now, maybe Zach Wilson pulls a miracle and has a better career and is a better quarterback than Trevor Lawrence. But with these teams, it's just like, if you're a fan of these teams... Like, if I was a fan of the Jets last year, I would have just rooted for them to go 0-16. Like, I want to guarantee myself Trevor Lawrence. Is that not the same logistical thing to do? Who cares if we win two games? It doesn't matter. Get the highest pick possible. Get the franchise quarterback. Maybe Zach Wilson is that. I don't know. But you just see stuff like this, and the Jets, It was were, were those two or three wins really worth it? Were they really all that worth it? Who knows? Maybe it'll all work out. Maybe Zach Wilson is better than Trevor Lawrence. We don't know. 
Now, this is Jay Glazer. I don't like Jay Glazer. When is the last time we've heard Jay Glazer break a major story? Like, seriously, like, what does the dude do exactly? He's supposed to be an insider. It's really Adam Schefter and Rappaport. When does Jay Glazer break anything? He never does. He doesn't know how to use capital letters either. Okay, I'm sold. Matt Castle has it. Can't teach it. Teammates rave about how he throws at the break. Coaches rave about how he'll get after guys. This is investing in cards. These were $85 total. If Darnold is as good as I think, they'll be worth $400 next year raw. If half grade is a 10, that's $1,500. And then you look at the next image, it's two of them. Two of them sell one bid, $1.49 on eBay. I mean, th there's nothing special about those cards, if you guys don't know. They're just basically Sam Darnold's base-rated rookie, Don Russ rookie cards, and... You can see, obviously, I don't know how I don't know how much they're going for right now, but the card market, that's even with the card market shooting up in value since 2018. Adam Gase plus Greg Williams plus Sam Darnold. Anyone know where I can pre-order my 2020 AFC Championship tickets at MetLife Stadium? Oh my goodness. This is one of those where it's so wrong, it, it almost is impressive. Adam Gase, everyone hates him. Greg Williams wants to injure players. Sam Darnold, bust of a first round pick. Anyone know where I can buy my 2020 AFC? It's so wrong. It's almost impressive. No, it is impressive. It is. It is so terribly wrong. It's impressive. The league done messed up. Dwayne, we remember Dwayne Haskins with the quote, he fell to 15th in the draft. I got to be honest with you guys. Dwayne Haskins got a really raw deal with the Redskins because I really think Ron Rivera mismanaged him. He mismanages young quarterbacks. But the problem was... Ron Rivera had cancer, so no one was going to blame it on Ron Rivera, right? You're not going to blame the dude who has cancer. Uh, but Dwayne Haskins, there's no reason Dwayne Haskins cannot at least be a successful backup quarterback in this league. And you look at the situation he's in now, you know, with Big Ben Roethlisberger, one happy meal away from being put on Weight Watchers. The dude's going to retire within a year. Um, I think he's in a great situation to be the backup quarterback, beat out Mason Rudolph this preseason. Haskins has the tools to at least be a serviceable backup quarterback in the NFL and make good money as a backup. Two ways the Browns get into Super Bowl contention. Their names are RG3. And my guy, Hugh Jackson. Oh, yeah, Hugh Jackson. Hugh Jackson's record. What was RG3's final record with the Browns in games he started? I think it was like 0-7 or something. They benched him for Cody Kessler. Guys, remember the other one? Hugh Jackson. You got to trust me. You got to trust me. Hugh Jackson, not Cody Kessler. <laughs> Guys, that's going to do it for this video. I'm not trying to cloud Hugh Jackson. It's just there's too many funny oh, moments. There's, there's too, too many, many funny, funny moments. moments. Make, Make sure... sure you, you follow me on Twitter, Twitter link that's always in the description. description. I am, of course, the depressed ginger. ginger. Thank, Thank you for watching. watching.